Ralph, officers with the Catawba County Sheriff's Office Drug Task Force got an early start today as they began looking for suspects in Operation 100 Proof. I had a chance to catch up with Sheriff Corey Reed following a news conference that was held early this morning. First, tell us what Operation 100 Proof is. Yes, this is uh, our narcotics unit has been working on uh, this investigation now for about six months. And we've got 100 individuals that we're hoping to pick up today. And if not today, then we're going to keep going until we get all 100 of them. Uh, now, within that six months, uh, 29 of those individuals that we have uh, already targeted are in our custody. So we've got 29 already off the bat. So the guys are leaving out now. We have around 20 officers, and they'll be out there uh, knocking on doors. And does this cover the entire county uh, from uh, east to west, north to south? It sure does. Uh, the entire county inside some of the city limits, uh, it, it covers it all. Okay, now as far as an investigation like this is concerned, and, and we've talked to you about this before, how, do you, uh, how does this develop over time? Is, is this a lengthy period of time that, that you develop the information that leads to the start of something like this? It, it is, and a lot of it is with our tip line. Uh, people call in and give us the information, then uh, we'll sign a couple narcotics officers to uh, investigate that individual. And then once we can get in and make some purchases and buys off of him, then we can set it up where we can do a roundup here and, and bring them all in at one time. When you uh, approach the suspects, is this exclusively undercover plainclothes officers or do you have uh, officers in uniform out as well? No, uh, when they're making these buys and, and in investigating the uh, individual itself, it's, uh, it's our undercover people that's doing that. Yeah. The, the drug problem in this county, and of course we, we've talked about this before in the past, uh, is the sheriff's office and do you think the local police departments, I guess to, to add them to the mix, making inroads as far as I know opiates is a big problem and of course marijuana, heroin, these things have been a problem for a long time. Uh, do you think that a dent has been made in this problem? We are making a dent in it and we're going to keep making a dent in it. We've got, you know, 100 individuals today and we've already got a list started and it's approaching 100 that we're going to be doing again in the near future. Mm -hmm. So if uh, you know you're dealing drugs, just come on down and turn yourself in now because we're coming after you. And the sheriff told me that there are multiple types of drugs involved in this operation, including methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine, and marijuana. Reporting from the Catawba County Sheriff's Office in Newton, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News. Back to you, Ralph.